today's sewing tutorial i'm going to show you how to diy your own dress but before that be sure to follow likes and share and subscribe if you are watching from my youtube channel now i'm going to start cutting out the bodice so here i am cutting out the waistband next i am going to cut out the center front and then the side fronts this will have a full lining, so I will repeat the same thing for my lining fabric, which was cotton. If you want to ask where I got the sewing patterns, I actually used the same patterns I used for this dress. But I did some modification, like adding a waistband. I made the neckline a little higher. Also use an A-line skirt pattern. This dress is going to be fully lined, so all the pieces that I'm cutting out is going to be multiplied by 2. Sewing princess darts is a little tricky, so the trick that I figured out is just add a small amount of sewing allowance for the princess seams. That way, it's so much easier to match it up because it's on a curve, and sewing on a curve is very tricky, so you have to kind of take your time to do it. And I'm also using my serger for this, so it's so much easier to stitch it. Next, I am going to join the waistband. So this is going to have like an empire waist. match the front pieces together the skirt and the bodice i am doing it this way because i am going to top stitch this detail at the waistline so these are the back pieces i'm going to match the back skirt to the back bodice at the waistline correct sides of the materials are facing and I match up the side seams, correct sides of the material are facing once again, then stitch at the shoulders and the side seams. I will repeat the same thing to the lining. By the way, if you notice, the print is going up and down, so you have to be aware if you have a material that the print is just going in one direction, you have to make sure that you follow it or else your garment is going to look upside down. Here I'm just going to stitch this short ruffle on the main fabric. I also stitch a ruffle on the actual lining piece. So I will have double ruffles. It's time to attach the lining to the fabric. I am going to join it at the neckline, correct sides of the material surfacing, and stitch across. And I'm going to clip the seam allowance here. Then understitch the lining to the seam allowance. So you're just going to stitch as close to the seam as you can. Then I am going to press it and base stitch the arm side. Next, I am going to sew the invisible zipper in. If you want a detailed tutorial of how to sew an invisible zipper, I am going to put the link in the description box below. Now I'm going to close the back seam, pull out the lining, then fold it out matching the right sides of the fabrics together, encasing the zipper tape and it's going to give us a nice clean finish inside of the dress and I will show you what it looks like later on. There will be no raw edges touching your skin. I will repeat the same thing to the other side. Be sure that the top edge is nice and flat and then you're just going to secure it just like this. And as you can see, I stop where the zipper ends because we can't sew through that. turn it correct side out i'm just going to fold in the corners and push it out if you want to you can trim the corners off but i'm still not quite sure about the fit of the dress so that's why i didn't trim it right away 
I'm going to put the lining back inside of the dress and it should look like this. Look how gorgeous the inside of the dress is. Now it's time to close the back seam of the lining. Okay, I tried on the dress and I hated the double ruffles so I removed them completely and then I'm just going to stitch the long ruffle on the main fabric. Yeah, I have this vision in my head that I want like so many ruffles, I want it to be romantic but when I put it on the dress the double ruffles made the bottom of the dress very wide and it looks comical so I had to remove them. Now it's time to work on the sleeves so I decided to give this petal sleeve or tulip sleeve one more time. I attempted it like a few years ago and I don't remember if I liked it or not so we will see <laughs> if I will feel the same way today after I attach this to the dress. Here I will cut out the lining. If I can redo this, I am going to use a lightweight material for the lining. Okay, remember earlier I said pay attention to the print of the fabric. Look, I cut this out and it is upside down. Luckily, I still have some extra fabric to cut a new piece. I'm not gonna lie, creating tulip sleeves or petal sleeve is a little confusing because I don't use this a lot that I'm just not familiar with the process. So just bear with me. I also ironed it and top stitched it so it is nice and flat. Then this is going to be the tricky part. So this or like the overlapping piece is going to be on the shoulder just like that. I also did a gathering stitch right along the shoulder so I can ease it in. Because the lining was so thick, it was actually kind of tricky or difficult to ease in the sleeve. So I really have to pull it together and it just made the seam extra bulky because um, the bodice is already lined and now the sleeves are lined. So the seams are extra big so I, I don't know how to deal with that. After I stitched the sleeves, this is the result. I actually really like the dress and the sleeves are so cute. On the mannequin, it looks so pretty and perfect but the moment I tried it on, sleeves are way too big and it's just not sitting right on my shoulders. A lot of times in sewing, you want to try something different like a different technique or different style but if it doesn't work out, don't be ashamed to rethink that idea and go to plan B or even plan C. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you like this video. I don't know if I can call it a sewing tutorial because I made so many mistakes. Anyhow, thanks for spending your 10 minutes with me and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!